It's the same story, unfortunately told too many times, of people getting ripped off by buying secondhand Chromebooks from third parties that the Chromebook didn't belong to in the first place. Sometimes resold several times over, and sometimes just flat out stolen from an organization like a school or an enterprise, and then sold online to an unsuspecting buyer. In this video, my goal is to show you how you can spot this so you can avoid purchasing a managed Chromebook and likewise, the steps that you should take to ensure that you're not unknowingly reselling one. What is up everyone? This is Georgia the Techie and I make videos about technology, Chromebooks, and the Google ecosystem. If you find the information on this video helpful, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and signing up for channel notifications. I want you to imagine spending your hard-earned money on a Chromebook for your child that needs it for school, and then finding out that you can't install anything on it because the Chromebook belongs to another school in another district or a company, and now the Chromebook is restricted. Sometimes it's just as innocent as you legally buying it from a school or an organization at a discount, and simply the person in charge of managing the sale it's not a tech person and it's not aware that there are several steps that have to be taken in order to remove the Chromebook from its enrolled status. And sometimes it can be just as dishonest as someone swiping the Chromebook from a school or just simply not returning a loaner and then trying to resell it online, which happens more often than you think. Either way, the buyer is the losing party here. So here's how you can tell if a Chromebook is managed. You will be able to identify a managed Chromebook by looking at the bottom right, select the time, and look for the Manage Device icon. If you see this icon, then the Chromebook is managed and you should avoid purchasing it. Wiping it or resetting the device will not get rid of this, as most organizations have auto-enrollment on and the device will just enroll itself automatically as soon as it connects to the internet. However, if you believe that to be incorrect, ask the person selling you the Chromebook to speak to their administrator. If you are the person managing the sale and you work at a school or an organization, ask for help from the IT team or person to identify who the administrator is. If you are the administrator, then check your Google Apps console so you can correctly unenroll the device prior to selling it. Hope this helps you so that in the future you know what to look out for when buying new tech. If you want to know more about Chromebooks, I have an entire playlist on Chromebook 101 right over here as well as some product reviews. Hope to see you in the next one.